Question 1. How is XSL used for XML? Answer. XSL is the style sheet language that is used only for XML and it provides variety of tools to integrate it easily. XML uses the predefined tags that can be used to clear the meaning of the tags and allow the use of style sheets. Browser when displaying a piece of information like tag doesn't know how to display it so XSL comes in and define the tags that are written. XSL also describes the way XML document needs to be defined and executed on the browser and system. XSL allow the integration of it with the XML and with HTML documents so that more advanced options can be used. Question 2. What are the different types of parts used in XSL? Answer. XSL is used to describe the style sheet language and it also describes the XML document that needs to be displayed. XSL consists of three parts and it allows the displaying of it using the web browser. XSLT. This is also known as the transformation of extensible style sheet and it provides the language for transformation. XPath is used to provide the navigation path of the XML document to navigate it through the browser. XSLFO is used used as a language for the transformation of XML documents and use it to provide more flexibility. Question 3. What is the function of XSL? Answer. XSL is a language that is used to express the style sheets in the form of CSS and used with HTML. XSL share and provide the functionality that is compatible with CSS with a different syntax. Styling options are used to design the features of the web and provide various options for modifications. It provides a definition for the set of elements that are used as formatting objects in the web programming language. It also consists of attributes that allow more properties and complex functions to use while making web designs. Question 4. What are the steps required to make XSL work? Answer. XSL is the extensible standard language that provides various features for the development of the web. It requires the styling features to be used in XML documents that acts as a source of the programming language. It consists of information that is provided in the style sheet and will display it on the web. The transformation of XML file is rendered and it is given as scenefx hello world dot slash fx speech speaker equals prosser come off it are dent you can't win you know slash speech speech speaker equals author i've gone off the idea of progress slash speech slash scene Question 5. What is the information contained inside the XML file? Answer. XML file consists of the information that is presentable on the web and in the style sheet. XML file separates the document's content and its styling such that the information is allowed to be displayed on the web. It separates the file such that the information is allowed to be displayed using different media and same document. The media includes screen, paper and cell phones that allow the users to view the document according to their requirements. XML file file stores the data that needs to be changed and modified again and again according to the user's requirements. Question 6. What is the use of style sheet in XSL? Answer. The style sheet provides the look and feel of the template that comes in the format of XML file. The style sheet consists of information that is an advanced level and shown on pagination and margins. It is represented using the XSL tag and having the template parameter associated with it. XSL template match equals FX. FO block font weight equals bold. XSL apply templates slash slash FO block slash XSL template. It provides the transformation of the instances used in DTD that is designed for the display on the web. Question 7. What are the rules defined for the use of FX element? Answer. The FX element used in XSL style sheet allows the use of different properties to display the styling characteristics. The rules that are laid down for the use of FX element include FX element can be transformed into the blocks using the styling feature of bold font. XSL apply templates provides a way to have the recursive call to the template that can provide the content of the current element. FX element is being provided to the speech element having the speaker attribute and the formats specified. FX elements uses the formats of the blocks that allow the value of the speaker attribute to be added before the use of it in the text. Question 8. What is the use of rendering in XSL? Answer. Rendering is important to allow the objects to be rendered using the styling properties. The formatting objects that has been produced by formatting object gets generated using the XML file. Formatting objects also uses the style sheet to render the object and the elements used to display the content on the web. XSLFO tag is used to display the medias in the XSL format by adding the parameters as screen, paper and voice. Rendering is important as it allows 
allows the use of many tools and methods to display the content on the web. Question 9. What is the difference between XSL and CSS? Answer. XSL uses the XML notation that is helpful in writing the codes and the tools are provided in greater extent whereas CSS doesn't use any of the XML notations but has its own. XSL is having the formatting object tree set up differently from the source tree whereas CSS is having the source tree and the formatting object tree the same. XSL can't provide the inheritance of the source tree using the formatting properties whereas CSS provides provides the inheritance of the formatting object that is related to the source tree. XSL is not supported by many of the web browsers, whereas CSS can be read by modern web browsers. Question 10. Why XSL won't replace CSS? Answer. XSL is used for complex formatting on the content that can be displayed on multiple places. XSL is not for the dynamic formatting that uses the content in the online document using the multiple files. XSL provides lots of capabilities but with limits as it provides efficient and easy to allow modifications. It provides content generation workflows and uses different tools to choose the tasks and XSL files. XSL is used to serve the web page to customize the XML data into the XML document and use the CSS for styling purpose.